Laker TV is a proud affiliate of the Kentucky High School Journalism Association and the Student Television Network. Welcome to November, Lakers. We hope you guys aren't fighting a sugar hangover after all that Halloween candy this night. Turn up for candy. Hey, do you want some M&Ms? No, but I think you've had enough. <laughs> Coming up on Laker TV, we'll tell you why we've had so many visitors on our campus this week. And we'll tell you what next week's Laker celebration is all about. Japanese foreign exchange students are visiting our school today. They're here to experience life in the U.S. and learn about the ways of the American teenager. Their visit is part of a program jointly sponsored by the United States Department of State and the Japanese Foundation called The Bridge to Tomorrow. Border Matt Hendrick is standing by to give us the inside scoop. Hi, I'm here with Matt Wright, Lauren Cox, and some of the Japanese students visiting Calais County High School. And I'm going to talk to them about what they like about the U.S. So, Matt, what is your role in this? I'm the guide. I'm also the interpreter, translator, and I coordinate all of the logistics for this trip. Cool. And what have you, like, what got you involved in this program? Well, I'm studying international education at Vanderbilt, and this is a perfect way for me to get involved in inter international education. That's awesome. Um, I have a few questions for the Japanese students. Um, what do you, why did you want to visit the U.S.? I'm interested in American school lifestyle. Cool. Um, what is your favorite food here in America? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, what, do you, what have you done thus far in your trip? I went to, we went to Japan and Korea. 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 Capital in Washington, D.C. Cool. Um, what do you like the most about America? America, what do you like the most about America? She likes to get hugs. The hugs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, do you like Calais County High School? Yes. Yes. It's a pretty good school. Um, well, I'm here with Lauren Hawk. She's one of the hosts for this. She's hosting some of the Japanese students. Um, how did you get involved in hosting? I got involved because last year I had an opportunity to go to Shioli's house, and now I'm returning the favor because I let her stay at my house. And last night we ate barbecue and we just enjoyed hanging out with my parents. And this weekend we're going to get to go to a speech tournament together. Sounds like a good time. I'm Matt Hendrick and this has been Japanese students Lauren Cox and Matt Wright. Back to you. Well, we all hope these students enjoy seeing just how awesome Callaway County really is. I'm sure they'll take back some interesting memories and fun stories to tell when they go back home. Up next, more visitors to CCHS. Earlier this week, a group of future high school students toured the building. They're bright, they're energetic, and they're next on Laker TV. Every month, the Laker Review staff works hard to bring you many features, such as news, viewpoint, entertainment, sports, and a center spread. The Laker Review, coming soon to a classroom near you. Kentucky Youth Assembly is a simulation of the Kentucky state government with students presenting bills, debating court cases, making media features, and more. Come join KYA to attend the trip to Louisville in December. See Mr. Ward in room 207 for more details about KYA. Hey guys, have you been looking for a new iPhone case? Well, we got one for you. For the girls, we got this. For the guys, we got this. Three designs are available for iPhone and Android, $15 a piece. For more information, contact the CCHS trailer or Miss Hunter. Supplies are limited. Get yours today. On this past Wednesday, you might have noticed a few shorter students walking around the high school. Over 30 elementary school students who are part of the Gifted and Talented program spent the morning observing what life is like as a CCHS student. With a closer look, here's Laker TV reporter Tristan Cole. Gifted and Talented recognizes those students at an early age that have the potential ability to form at a very high level either in a, a specific academic area or with general intellectual ability or in a, a visual or performing arts or in the area of leadership or creative thinking. Uh, we're, we're bringing these students to the high school and I might add that they are very excited about this but they're coming here to 
to see what's ahead of them. We, we want to continue to motivate them to work hard and keep developing their gifts. Welcome to November Lakers. It's I'd say algebra. We got we learned how to factor stuff, and it's not very often that I learn stuff about math since my mom's an eighth grade math teacher. <laughs> my favorite activity was when we took the DNA from a strawberry. Then we got to look through a microscope and look at the DNA, like look at cells and stuff. More like, more things you can get into after school and more classes during school. Ooh. Now hey, do you want to shock somebody? Your choice, you got a chance to shock somebody. Oh. Many elementary students that are identified as gifted and talented now will continue in the GT program in their high school career. Here at CCHS, we have a total of 114 gifted and talented students, ranging from high academic achievement to high performing art skills. Hey, talk about your gifted and talented. The 17-year-old R&B sensation Trevor Jackson is back and rising fast. His amazing voice and his status as a triple threat who dances, sings, and acts makes it hard to imagine any pathway for him but up. That's right, Alex. And this new teen sensation with his latest hit, Drop It, is our feature artist this week. After that, Selena Eric with a look at what's happening in Laker sports, next on Laker TV. MSU, UK, U of L, and WKU. All college tuitions can be paid for by the Kentucky National Guard. Call Staff Sergeant Jones at 270-226-9543. Tell him you're interested in joining the Kentucky National Guard. Pinocchio, Gingy, Donkey, Fiona, and Shrek. All your favorite fairy tale characters in one place. This fall, Playhouse in the Park presents Shrek the Musical. Based on the Oscar-winning DreamWorks film, this show is part romance, part fairy tale, and has something for everyone. Hey Lakers sports fans, I'm Selena Eric, and on this week's sportscast, the Laker football team is kicking off the end of October right with the win against the North Bullet Eagles last Saturday, winning 35-12 and improving their one-loss record to 5-4. Well, Friday Night Lights are back on Laker Nation. Callaway County plays Trigg County Wildcats tonight at 7 o'clock here at Jackie Rose Stadium. Also, tonight is senior night for the eight football players. In addition, cheer, dance, and band seniors will also be recognized. It's all, it all starts at 6.15, so be there. Next week is where it all starts. Yes, I'm talking about Powder Puff. Monday, November 4th at 6 o'clock, juniors against freshmen and seniors against sophomores. The cost to get in is $1 for students and 3 for adults. This, this event not only is a way to spend a good evening, but the money raised is money spent on this year's senior prom. Our camera crew went out to the football stadium earlier this week to check out a Powder Puff practice session. The cross country team has ended their regular season on a good note. This weekend they travel to Marshall County to run in the regional meet. They go up against the Webster County Trojans. To qualify for state, the Lakers will have to finish in the top three or four on Saturday. Coach Jared gave us a few ideas of what else the team needs to do for state. And at this point our guys are looking at, you know, we're probably going to be second. Girls have a chance uh, anywhere from first to third. So. You know, both teams have a pretty good chance of qualifying for state, but that's kind of what we would need to do. Uh, on the outside chance that does not happen, you would have to get the top five individuals from a team that's not qualifying for state. Uh, but that's really not what we're looking for. We're looking for both teams qualifying as a team. If you are a part of any Lakers sports, then you are invited to the 2013-2014 Lakers celebration, Tuesday, November 5th, here at the cafeteria and gymnasium at 5 o'clock p.m. Coach Spann says that many of the coaches wanted to plan a celebration for all the Laker athletes, past and present. Let's see what else Coach Spann has to say about it. Well, we've gotten some sponsors together and we're offering a free meal for every athlete in elementary, middle school, and high school. Uh, and two of their uh, guardians, their parents, 
and uh, they can bring their family that, that night and uh, we can celebrate where we're at, uh, where we're going, where we've been. And it's not really about talking about any other team other than Callaway County. There are around 1,200 people who signed up to attend Lakers Celebration. At the event, there's going to be a free meal, a few guest speakers, and a 45-minute special program. Well, good luck to all the Lakers sports team this weekend, including the imminent girls versus girls powder puff game, which has the guys cheering and the girls getting rough and ready to win. Don't forget that tonight is senior night for the players playing in their last home game. That's all for the Lakers sports this week. Have a great weekend. Now back to Alex Olin and Madison Short. Thanks, Selena. It looks like it's going to be good weather for tonight's game, but you might want to bring some extra layers. The forecast calls for temperatures down in the lower 50s by the end of the game. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock, but come early if you want to be there for the senior night festivities. That starts at 6.15. How does an international trip to Europe sound this summer? Well, if you're interested, make sure you attend the informational meeting on Monday, November 4th at 4.30 in Ms. Lovelace's room. Pick up an informational letter from either Ms. Lovelace or Ms. DeVos and plan on bringing a parent to Monday's afternoon meeting. And speaking of traveling, all seniors who want to leave school for lunch vouchers need to turn in their permission form to the front office by November 6th. For those of us who might not want turkey for Thanksgiving this year, the CCHS cheerleaders are selling barbecue pork shoulders with homemade sauce. Your order will be delivered to your door on Wednesday, November 27th. The Boston Butts weigh 8 to 10 pounds each and the cost is $30. To order one, contact a Laker cheerleader. Congratulations to the fundraising staff of Saddle Up for St. Jude's. The recent government shut down closed Wranglers camp in LBL and the Saddle Up ride had to be postponed. But this past Saturday, they were back in the saddle again. We understand they had a great time and Ms. Anderson reports they raised over $22,000 through the various Saddle Up for St. Jude's events. Alex, teachers raise money for another cause this week at CCHS. Our next report is from Caitlin English and Bradley Stokes, who show us a little bit about the power of pink. I got the idea from this from Dan Anderson. She does a dessert auction for the St. Jude's children, and I was talking to her, and she said, we've never done a cupcake auction, so let's do that. And I thought it was a great idea and got lots of participation. On Friday, October 25th, Miss Vicki Simmons orchestrated the Power of Pink Cupcake Auction in the Teacher's Lounge here at CCHS. The profit will go to the Susan G. Komen Foundation for Breast Cancer Research. Since 1990, there has been a 33% decline in breast cancer mortality in the U.S. Currently, there are about 3 million breast cancer survivors one of which is here in this very school. Well, I had breast cancer last year, as many of you know, and I just have been looking for a way to give back and um, thought this would be a good way to, to give back part of, you know, with breast cancer research and helping others. After some hard number crunching, Miss Simmons reported that the cupcake auction raised $642. Oh, I really appreciate everyone buying ribbons and bows and paying $2 for pink out dress down day and participating in the auction. To learn more about what this money is going to, you can visit www.comen.org. For Laker TV, I'm Caitlin English. Well, that's a wrap up for this week's show, Lakers. Remember, if you're a senior or planning to attend prom this year, be sure to make an appearance at the Powderpuff football game to help raise money for the best prom. And remember to show our friends from Japan just how awesome Cali County really is. Here's some more music from the rising star, Trevor Jackson. We'll see you next time, Lakers. Today's program can be viewed this weekend on our local cable television access channels. That's Mediacom Channel 4, Murray Electric Channel 14, and Time Warner Channel 15.